I'm here on the Parapara State Highway 4 that connects uh, Raitihi with Whanganui. About a year ago, half of this hillside just fell down. It took the State Highway out of action. Um, a massive slip caused by um, an extreme weather event, lots of water, and it just caused this unstable landscape really just to fall down in the, in the direction of the river. And it cut off a vital uh, landline, an economic lifeline really, for both Whanganui and Raitihi and the, and the communities of, of um, the central North Island. So um, uh, one of the reasons I'm here is that this has been a, a really innovative piece of work by Waka Kotahi, the New Zealand Transport Agency. They've worked so well with um, the local uh, councils here and we've had fantastic feedback from um, Don Cameron, the Ruapehu Mayor, and Hamish um, McDool, the uh, uh, Mayor of Whanganui. Uh, and uh, also, Waka Kotahi has been working really closely with Mana Whenua, Ngāti Rangi, who's um, the big landowner here through Atiho Whanganui. And so, great collaboration uh, with these important local stakeholders. And the other thing that's exciting about this project is the innovation by Waka Kotahi's engineers and geologists and uh, all of the other private sector partners that make up the alliance that is going to reconnect this uh, highway permanently. Um, what they've done is, uh, instead of building a whole new road away away from the current alignment, um, what the planners and the engineers and the geologists have come up with is a way to um, reduce the water that builds up in this unstable landscape and causes the uh, slips to happen. So they've sunk a whole lot of wells that extract water from the um, substrata uh, out and pump it out to dry the um, substrata and reduce the instability that causes these slips to happen. It's a remarkable piece of geology and engineering. It's exactly the kind of innovation that we want to see more of. So um, kia kaha, waka, waka kotahi, great work.